Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Transformers Friday from the Toy Box Edition. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Titans Returns Legends Class Sharktacon. Naw! Let's get into it! Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories in alt mode. And first up, let's stop knocking stuff around. Let's take a look at the card that comes with it. And it's got some nice artwork there of Gnaw just splashing up out of some nasty water to eat something. Or somebody. Titans Returns Hasbro Gnaw. And on the back, if I turn it right side up, you see you got some of his stats there. Strength, speed, intelligence, and firepower. And he's mostly strong at a number seven. That does it for the card. For the handy dandy instruction manual, here we have Transformers, Titans Return, and all. Eight and up. It's got a nice illustration here on the front. And throughout, the illustrations are mostly nice, but with this dark background, it just it makes it kind of hard to see at some points but luckily this guy is just legends class and he's pretty easy to figure out even without the instructions you could look at a picture of him and say oh that's how you do it so that's it for the instruction manual now let's take a look at Gnaw himself and you can see he's got some nice paint apps here. And I'm assuming on the teeth, this may be paint. And it all may be paint because there is some translucent plastic here. So I don't know if that whole panel is made out of this plastic or if it's just inserted in there. I never looked that close. Maybe we'll take a look during transformation. And of course, you know, if you move the top jaw too much down it will split and you've got some articulation here in the bottom jaw hinge and the top jaw hinge and these arms here they will do a full 360 degrees or at least they would if the legs weren't in the way it's got some paint down here on the lower jaw most of this guy is molded in the correct color plastic's got a little paint app there and here. And Decepticon Tampo right there. And I think that pretty much does it for the decos for this guy. And of course, during transformation, we'll look at this. It pulls out. Now, as far as his legs go, they're on a ball joint. They'll spin 360 degrees. They come out and they will also spin... These are also on a ball hinge. They'll spin around, mostly due to transformation, but it does have a deep cut here. So he gets plenty of bend in this mode. Now he does suffer a bit from visible hand syndrome, and if you look in the mouth too closely, visible head syndrome as well. But overall, I think this is a really good version of Char of Sharkacon, whether you choose to call him Gnaw or not but that my friends does it for a look at the figure and his accessories in alt mode it's time for alt mode comparisons and here we have the titans returns legends class gnaw with the hasbro pulse exclusive quintesson pit of judgment multi-pack gnaw an AliExpress knockoff gnaw, 
And in the back, the Transformers Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class Gnaw. For our last alt mode comparison, here we have Titans Returns Legends Class Gnaw with Titans Returns Legends Class Bumblebee and the Amazon exclusive War for Cybertron Trilogy Leader Class Earthrise Alternate Universe Optimus Prime. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the comedy portion of our show where I attempt to transform this transformer. And generally, I don't have that hard of a time with it. And I'm not even going to look at the instructions to see what order you really do stuff in, but just kind of wing it a bit like I normally do, I guess. Sometimes I have to look. So first of all, right here we have a hinge. And we want to move this whole leg assembly forward. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Move the arm up out of the way. Then we'll just go ahead and spin these around and straighten them out right here on this ball joint. Then let's pull that out. And you can see right here there's just a little slot. And on this side of the tail you can see it's got all kinds of little tabs on it and it just fits down in there now what you want to do here is start moving this back flip the tail up and at that point straighten these parts out and then separate you'll notice there's tab and tab here and then there's sets of open slots to correspond with those and let's go ahead and move his fin all the way up well we can't do it quite yet so there's that then you take these shark faces and put them all the way around to the back of the legs And just adjust the arms there accordingly. For the lower shark jaw, we'll just move it down till it stops. And then right here, you want to take your fingernail or you know whatever you've got that you can get a hold of this little bitty tab with, and flip the head up, and then spin it around. Then we can take the tail and move it all the way up. As, well, at least as far as it'll go. I won't say all the way up, but as far as it'll go. And just straighten the legs out a little bit, straighten the arms up a little bit. Take his tail and the non-tabbed side, the, just the cylindrical side. We'll go, well, I say it'll go. To work at it just a tad and get it right in there and that my friends is null all transformed well, let's take a look at null in his robot mode and his accessory which is pretty much this and pretty much already looked at it but here it is it's like a whip mace type deal and it's got some nice molded details and it's all molded in the appropriate color plastic and then it does have a little bit of waffling here on the ball section and it's spiky so pretty cool now as far as the paint apps go pretty much everything we said in the alt mode holds true here except for the face and you can see most of it is molded in the correct color plastic. 
the face itself is slightly lighter than the helmet part and then you can see the eyes in there at least maybe you can see the eyes in there they're really small it's hard to see and as far as everything else the you know it's, it's all the same and it looks like this panel we were talking about it before it looks like this whole panel is made out of this translucent plastic and then it has paint apps over it and I'll have to say you know the back doesn't clean up very well it you know you've got a big gap in here and you know it's just it's fairly obvious and there's not a whole lot you can do about it I don't even think anybody's ever made a fill-in kit for this except for maybe somebody 3d printed one all right let's take a look at his articulation if you move this whole platform right here he can look up he can kind of look down but you know it's really not supposed to do that now, he does have a 360 degree rotation there at the head the full exorcist so to speak at the shoulders 360 degree rotation and again it's on a ball joint and it does have you see a deep cut right there so you can get it's probably slightly past 90 degrees, but we'll just go ahead and call it 90 degrees. Single hinge and swivel ball joint at the elbow, 360 degrees of rotation. And that much bend, which is pretty much all the way. Nothing at the waist. At the hips, he gives you the full splits. He can kick forward that far and backwards he kicks like a mule so that's pretty good single hinge at the knee and because this piece is in the way it only bends that far and it really doesn't open up that far you can see it's got a slight curve to the leg when it's you know straightened up all the way and this piece right here just kind of at the knee stops it and no tilt or nothing at the ankle so and again the tail becomes his weapon and goes in his hand and one thing I did forget is he does have no I take it back he doesn't have any articulation at the wrist. I thought he had a 360 degree rotation there. He doesn't, but the KO version that I got from AliExpress, it does have some wrist articulation there. But that, my friends, is a look at the Titans Returns Legends Class Gnaw in his robot mode. And of course, I bumped the camera because what is a Digital Caveman Presents review without? A little camera bumpage going on. It's time for my favorite part of a Transformers review. Robot mode comparisons. And here we have the Titans Returns Legends class. Naw. With the Hasbro Pulse exclusive War for Cybertron trilogy. Quintesson Pit of Judgment Naw. An AliExpress knockoff gnaw. And in the back, the Studio Series 86 Deluxe Class gnaw. For our final set of robot mode comparisons, here we have the Titans Returns Legends Class gnaw. With the Titans Returns Legends Class Bumblebee. And the Walmart exclusive... Netflix, War for Cybertron Trilogy, Earthrise, Leader Class, Optimus Prime. For final thoughts on the Transformers Titans Returns Legends Class Gnaw, I have to say, I really like this figure, and I ended up getting 
three of the carded versions. Then I got three of the knockoffs from AliExpress, which I think have much better paint apps on them. And the one from the Quintesson Pit of Judgment multi-pack. And I have to say, out of all of them, probably the knockoff, the paint job on the knockoff is the best. And again, I really, really like this figure. And in fact, I think I pretty much would like, I would take this figure over the Studio Series 86 and all. And that's not to say there's anything wrong with that. He does have a much better robot mode, in my opinion, than this one. But personally, I'm not going to be displaying my Shark Icons in robot mode. They're going to be in shark mode. And the fact that it's so small, these guys can, you know, be a swarm. They're more like piranha than sharks. And but I, I do like it. I think it's it's a great figure for what it is, the class that it is. And the, you know, there's it's not that there's aren't some issues with it, but. It's the same issues that I've seen with any version of a Shark Dracon, at least in a, a mainline or a, a knockoff of a mainline, is, you know, the head being visible inside the mouth. And, you know, that doesn't always make me the happiest, but at least they did put some sculpted detail on it so that when you spin it around, it looks like it's something to help grind, you know, whatever he's eating up or whoever he's eating up and again like I said you know the, the 86 has a much better robot mode but I think this one excels in the alt mode and I do really really like this figure and again you know for it to be a legends class it, it's it's really good it's fun to transform and you know it, it it's really just an enjoyable little figure. And if you don't have one, I do suggest you get one or try one out or maybe get some of those knockoffs uh, with the better paint job. But I will say this about the knockoffs. How this one has the clear plastic for the shark eyes. That one just has a paint app. But it's really sharp looking paint app. And if you guys would like to see a review or a closer look at that knockoff version, then let me know in the comments and I will see about making that happen. I'm sure I can. Nothing but time and reviews to do, my friends. Well, that does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. If you are interested in supporting this channel further, I'm now offering memberships at various tiers. Click the Join button on my YouTube page or check this video's description for the link and see if any membership offers are right for you, but only if you are in a position to do so. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you would like to see more content or just help the channel grow or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap folks. I'll see you next time.